everyone welcome to my channel my name is Teresa and today I want to share with you some of my favorite bath and body products for the fall basically any time of the year but most of these have like that more fall cozy deeper richer vibe and yeah I just wanted to share some of my favorites with you if you hear some noise I have a kitten playing so yeah that's what it is so basically I've been loving cherry and vanilla those are have been my go-to and i'm going to share some of my favorite cherries and for perfume this finery not another cherry is so good i have quite a dent i'm almost halfway and this is fairly affordable you could find this at target it was around the 30 dollar price range and i did smell Tom Ford's Lost Cherry at Sephora, and this is a dupe. It smells so much like it. And this does last pretty good. It has good project projection, like you could smell it. Um, I have gotten compliments. I have gotten compliments after I wore this for like six hours at work. Somebody complimented me on my perfume. And I just, it's just amazing. And it mixes really well with a lot of my other like body spray. Another cherry that I like to mix with that perfume is the Black Cherry like Cherry Merlot by From Bath and Body Works. This has notes of dark cherry, black raspberry Merlot. So this one doesn't have like a super long lasting, it's not super long lasting, but it's awesome pairing it with other stuff. And it's just so good, it's so sweet. It's like a juicy cherry. It does have a hint of booziness, I don't find it super boozy. I do find the hand cream smells more like wine than the body spray, but it still has that. It's still very strong cherry, but definitely darker. I think it's perfect for like the fall season, um, like colder weather. Cause it's not like that. It's not like tropical. It's just like a dark, rich cherry. And these also from Bath and Body Works, part of the Halloween collection, Everlasting Magic. It doesn't say they have cherry in the notes, but it's definitely cherry to me. It has notes of be bejeweled berries, phantom petals, and magic musk. And I have the shower gel too. And these just both smell so good. So you don't get like that straight up cherry, like black cherry Merlot or not another cherry from Finery, but it's just so good. It's um definitely darker berry. It's sweet and it has a hint of the musk and maybe a hint of floral, but it's mostly that berry, that dark cherry. And I just think it smells so good, so rich. And I also have Vampire Blood. This is more berries. This is red berries, night blooming jasmine and petrifying plum. So it's more like berry and plum. And I've used quite a bit of this as well from Bath and Body Works. This is sweet. Um, very sweet and but it's not like your traditional berry because sometimes i feel like like that ber berries can be overplayed this has a sweetness to it like juicy fruity it's also very like rich kind of and it makes me think of colder weather so i think this works really well this time of year and something i like to mix with the cherry scents or vanilla i think this mixes so well with cherry or vanilla is Bath and Body Works Sweet Whiskey, which has notes of a golden amber vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries. This is strong. This is long lasting. I do have the lotion as well. And the lotion lasts so long on my skin. It's real, It's actually a really good long lasting scent. I do, I, I can get like, I don't wanna say sick of it, but like sometimes I'm not in the mood for this because this is very boozy, very whiskey heavy, but it's still very pretty and very strong at the same time. But I just think it goes so well with the cherries and the vanillas. Now let's talk about some vanillas. So I went to TJ Maxx and, or no Marshalls, and I've been hearing a lot of people talk about philosophy 
and I've never actually tried any of their products because this is more on the high-end price tag. I know at Ulta, like this same product is around $29 and it's a little out of my price range, but I did find this one, Fresh Cream the Body Lotion for $8 on Clarence. And oh my gosh, this is so yummy. This is the Fresh Cream and it also gives you a little recipe to make for, uh, heavy cream and I guess all their like gourmand foodie scents have that. I do feel like this has like, I want to say like a graham cracker note, some kind of bakery note in here. And it's very like milky kind of, but not in a bad way, in a good way. Very sweet. I feel like this would mix well with vanilla or like coffee scents or even cherries. I really like the consistency of this lotion. I so want to try other philosophy products, but obviously at a discount, I like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for more philosophy products. And another product I got, um, another body lotion. This is from Walmart. This is from the Bodycology uh, line, and this is Cozy Fireside S'more. And does it give you notes? It says it has marshmallow, sandalwood, and a hint of milk chocolate. So this is a dupe for Bonfire Bash from Bath & Body Works, and I paid under $4 for this. But yeah, this one's really nice. Um, It's pretty hydrating. They do have a body spray too, which I thought smelled really good too at the store. I didn't purchase that, but if like, so you never got Bonfire Bash from Bath & Body Works, or you really need a body lotion and Bath and Body Works isn't currently on sale. This is a great option to pick up. It does have a tricky cap though. It's hard to close. You kind of have to force it close, but those are really nice. Okay, and then I have two vanilla. These were the new vanilla sprays from Bath and Body Works, part of their fall launch. I have Cozy Vanilla Bourbon and Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. So definitely my favorite out of the two is the Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. This is like a perfume. Neither one of these are gourmand, but this one's just so good. It does have that boozy note, but I don't find it as strong booziness as the sweet whiskey. This It just gives me like cozy perfume, vanilla, So, but it has warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. And I spray this all the time. I can't really tell how much I used up with the label, but I feel like I'm halfway. And I spray this pretty much every time I get out of the shower. I keep this in the bathroom. It's like a really good, cozy, cold weather. If you love vanilla and you kind of like the boozy notes, this one's just really good. And I know some people either like one more than the other. I guess it just depends on your preference. But the Fresh Vanilla Blossoms is definitely a fresher version. Um, it's like a vanilla kind of floral. To me, this smells like clean, like soap. It has a soapy quality to it. I haven't heard anyone describe it like that, but I definitely get like the soap and the floral, the strong floral. And it does have vanilla bean. This one is suede petals, soft sandalwood and vanilla bean. But I do enjoy this also after the shower. It's clean. I feel like this could be any time of the year. It doesn't necessarily fall. Honestly, it's like more springtime to me, but I, I do enjoy this one, but definitely like um, cozy vanilla bourbon the best. And I did have a shower gel of this one and I used it all up. A vanilla perfume. I do have a few vanillas. I do have one from Finery on the Target brand, but I feel like that one doesn't smell really strong. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't really smell it that much. But this one from TJ Maxx, I guess you can find it TJ Maxx or Marshalls, is Vanilla Potion, and this was $16.99. And this one's, I don't know what the notes are offhand, but I use quite a bit, like halfway. Um, it does have, like, on first spray, you do get that little bit of alcohol in this with most like cheap perfume, but it disappears and you just get, you just get vanilla, but it's not super gourmand. It's not like, um, Choco Musk that I had. Um, that one was like vanilla cake. That's not like, it, this is not that. I want to say it's more like, I don't know, just a vanilla perfume kind of gives me similarities to 
cozy vanilla bourbon, but this has more bourbon in it. It's just really nice, a good affordable perfume. If you are at TJ Maxx and you see this and like you're on the fence, I highly recommend if you're into vanillas, it's just a good affordable perfume. Now I wanna move on to some body scrubs. So I do have two Tree Hut body scrubs. This one is the iced coffee. This is a part of the fall collection. This is the only one I was able to find in store. Um, I, I know they have like that cinnamon one. This sounds amazing. There's other ones. I really want the sweet cream body lotion or the um, body butter. But yeah, this is the only one I found from the collection. And this one smells like straight up coffee. It just smells like it smells like an iced coffee with like cream and sugar in it. You don't really get caramel or anything else like that. It's just straight up creamy coffee. I feel like with this, I have to kind of be in the mood for it. Um, and if I mix this with vanillas, it's really nice. Or like, I don't really have any like chocolate skincare or body care, but I would love to get some chocolate. I think that would pair really well with this. I mean, Tree Hut is just a classic. It looks like it has like coffee beans in here, little dark specks. They're just a really good product. You could find them, they're affordable. Um, this one I believe I found at Target. And then recently I picked up this one. It is the Blue Lagoon. And this isn't necessarily a fall scent, but oh my gosh, it just makes me think that I'm in the Blue Lagoon with all those natural minerals. It gives you like that spa like um, scent. It's clean, it's fresh. It, I really do like this one. And I would say I'm not so much of a fresh girl. Like I am more into like the fruity tropical. That's what I've always been into, like fruity tropical. But lately it's definitely been, I've been like expanding um, my preferences. Like, like I said, I love vanilla now. Like cherry is something I've always loved. But yeah, definitely getting into more different types of smells. But this is so good if you are into like really clean, smelling, fresh. Like you want to be like you're, like smell like you're at a spa. This is really nice. And then I love this brand. I find this at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. The Onyx uh, Bathhouse. Don't ever buy this on Amazon. They mark this up so much. Like $20 for a body scrub. It's crazy. Just, you know... Go hunting for it if you're into body scrubs and you'll find it at a much better deal at $5.99. Um, this one is for fall. They do come out with like holidays, like Halloween, uh, fall, Christmas, Easter, they, all the seasons, all the holidays, they all come out with like limited edition scrubs. But this one is leaves and lattes, please but it is cranberry scented. It is, it's like a sweet, sweet cranberry. So it definitely, if you're like a fruity girl, you love your fruity scents, this is perfect, um, sweet. And it is two-toned, um, it has like a yellowish mustard color on the top and like a warm brown at the bottom. But these scrubs are not like Tree Hut. These are foaming. So, and they're chunky, chunky and thick. Like you could almost like mold, mold it. Um, and you, you have to like kind of mix it in with water and they'll suds up like soap. Um, I found that some, I see some people didn't like that, that it does that, but me personally, I love it. And I love their packaging and I love that they do seasonal like, scrubs i think it's just so cute like for halloween they have witches and um ghost ones and easter they have little easter chicks uh, i had i did have a pomegranate one it was like hot mess express or something these are just so cute you're into like hygiene body scrubs all that stuff i highly recommend if you haven't tried on its bathhouse yet and I do have a couple face washes I wanted to share, and then I'm done. I know this is a lot of products, but i just been, I don't know, I've been loving all these so much. And a lot of these are like in the same category, like the cherry and the vanillas. But anyways, so I recently got this in an Ipsy. This is the Tula Skincare, um, the Probiotic and Superfood So Pumpkins Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. I guess this was a collab with Sean. So I don't know, but it was a collab with somebody. 
and this is so good. It isn't more high-end product. They do have it on Ulta for $36. And, but all the reviews are great. It has 4.8 stars out of five. And it is a it is a physical exfoliant, but it's more gentle. It's more like a polish and it smells like pumpkins and it'll get a little on my lip. I'm not, I'm not eating it, but some of it will get on my lip. And like, you know, you lick your lips, it tastes, it tastes good. It tastes like pumpkins, but the sugars are just so fine. It quickly like, um, melts down into your skin. It does leave your face feeling really soft and hydrated. So I've been really enjoying this. And then the last product, the last face wash I recently picked up at Marshall's and this is like K hey Beauty. I have tried this brand before. I tried their snail one. They have a whole line of different types of face wash, but this one is the honey cleansing foam. And it says it's infused with sweet honey extract. And I just think it's really nice and gentle on my face. It, I, I love the texture of this because it's like a, a white, like foaming uh, face wash, but it makes my face real, feel really clean. It does say it's moisturizing. I wouldn't say it's that moisturizing, but I feel like it gives me a deep clean, really cleans my face. And I just love how it lathers, honestly. And I, I don't know if this is for everyone, but for me personally, I like a face wash that really like makes my skin feel clean and I could add moisturizers after all that stuff. But I do think this is really nice. But anyways, guys, that is it for some of my favorites, um, like body care, bath and body care for the fall. I'm thinking I'll probably do something similar to this in the winter. I am waiting patiently for Bath and Body Works, their holiday, Christmas, body care release, and then, of course, when they have a sale. And then I'll definitely be picking up some of those products, and I'll share with you guys when I get that. And, yeah. But let us know down below some of the products you're loving down below for the fall. And if you tried any other philosophy products, let us know down below too, because I am dying to try more philosophy. But okay, guys, that is it. And I'll see you later. Bye.